Welcome to our two-minute devotional for today. You know, grade school Valentine's Day cards were often filled with weak, insipid uh, sentiment about love. That was not the kind of love that the Apostle Paul prayed for for the believers that were in Philippi. Paul prayed for them to have a type of love that was muscular. It had a love, it was a love that had a depth and strength that showed its well-toned muscle and its strength to change character from self first to being others first. Paul prayed for them to have that love that impacted how they lived and how they behaved in their personal relationships with one another. And this kind of love required a depth of understanding and insight, first, into their own self-centeredness, secondly, into the genuine needs of other people that were around them, and thirdly, into an understanding of the love that was demonstra demonstrated by Christ when he died on the cross for us. It also required a yielding of personal rights and self-interest. This required a muscular type of transforming love that wasn't theoretical, it wasn't based on natural attraction, but was intentional, deliberate, and patterned after the example of the one who set aside his divine prerogatives that he might die on the cross on our behalf. Such a love doesn't have the weak, wimpy sentiment of a grade school Valentine Day card or the negligible strength of a couch potato, Instead, it has the well-toned muscles of an Olympic athlete. Listen as I read Philippians chapter 1, verses 9 to 10. Paul writes, And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in real knowledge and in all discernment, so that you may approve things that are excellent, in order to be sincere and blameless until the day of Christ. Today I would challenge you to ask God to do what he has to in your life, so that you can develop that kind of love with muscle, that is, a love with a depth of wisdom that is modeled after the one who died on the cross on your behalf.